In this video, I'm sharing the very quickest and easiest way you can create a board game for your classroom. This is the exact process I used to create my stoichiometry board game, which is available as a free download at yourclassroomhelper.com slash lessons dash and dash activities. The very quickest and easiest way to create a board game is to use little movable objects on a clean and clear background. This is especially important if you're trying to create a board game that has a sprawling layout. I tried for hours and hours and probably even days to create my board game with all sorts of programs, but I got so frustrated because every time I had to make one little adjustment, that meant I had to go and change everything. So by using these movable pieces, if I made a mistake or wanted to adjust, I could do that in a matter of seconds. After you finish creating your layout, you just simply snap a picture and from there you can edit it to meet your needs. So here is my final product. And here is a photo of my final product. Now I'll take this photo and upload this into PowerPoint. From here, you can get super fancy with your editing, but I am just gonna do a super quick edit. I'm gonna select my picture, and that will bring up the picture tools option. I'm gonna select format, and then using the artistic effects color and corrections buttons, um, you can change your board to look however you want. Um, for example, I'll select this artistic effect. And you get something that looks like that. So I'm going to actually go to corrections and choose this brighter image as my board always choose something that's a little less dramatic than this, um, but I'm going to stick with this just so I have the rough outline of where I, I want everything to be. If the little dots bother you, um, you can come through and use a highlighter. I'm just going to use um, my pen here, and then I can just highlight it in white. Okay, so I prettied it up a little bit, and this is what I came up with for the basic outline for my board. Okay, so now I'm going to start inserting my clip art. Um, so I'm gonna select the Insert button, and I'm just gonna select Shapes. I wanna put a piece of clip art over all of the little starburst pieces. So I'm gonna select the Square option, and I'm going to draw my squares over the starburst and it doesn't have to be exact right now you can twist it around so when I have my squares in all my different pieces I'll quickly just paste a few here um, then I can orient them based on my placeholder starburst so I want one like that this one I want it twisted like that and this last one oriented this way. All right, next step is to insert my clip art into these little squares. You can use clip art that you find online, um, or you could use the Bing option. So if you select your square, um, you can choose the insert button at the top and then select online pictures. And this will give you an option to search through Bing. I'm gonna click or type fish in to see what I can find about fish. This is a really great opportunity to talk to your students about how to use the internet responsibly and talk about copyright and creative commons um, and how to use clip art and images that they find online appropriately and with um, credit if credit is due. Um, so here's the creative commons button and I just have clicked this. Um, that way I know all of these pictures down here I can use. Um, if you are trying to create something to sell though, you do need to look at all of the pictures individually and just make sure that that is approved. Um, but all of these images you can use in a private setting. So I'm gonna select this little fish right here and insert him. All right, and I am going to put him over that square. 
So I went through and filled in, um, added some more clip art pieces on my board. And the last thing I wanted to show you is to how, how to change the color of your different objects to match the general theme of your board. So I'm going to select this square right here. Go over to my color options. And this is under um, format. If this doesn't already pop up for you, um, when you select on here, you can select the format button here. Okay, um, and so I can select the shape fill and then the eyedropper. And this gives me the option of selecting any color from anything on the board. Um, so I'm gonna make my little square the same color as this jelly bean. You can do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna select the shape fill eyedropper and make that the same color as this fish's back fin there. And this guy. And then my last one. Make the same color as, I'll do that fish's stripe. And there we go. If you don't like the little um, outline on all of these squares, um, you can change that also under format. Um, under shape outline, you can just select no outline and that'll take that line away. You can do all your shapes at once. Um, I selected one. I'm going to hold the control button down on my keyboard, select the other two, and do the same thing. Format, shape outline, no outline. All right, so this is going to be my completed board template that I want to use.